Hello and welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we explore a feature in just a few minutes. In this week's video, we're discussing the useful feature known as Draw Shapes. This feature allows you to quickly create usable database entities. The four shapes are polygons, boxes, cylinders, and spheres. Now in this video, we're going to look at the polygon option. This is used to draw either 2D closed polygon shapes or 3D solid shapes created from taking those 2D closed polygons and extruding them into the third dimension. The Draw Shapes feature is great for quickly creating far field databases. Shown here is an example of an extruded 2D polygon. I'm going to show you how to make this using the Draw Shapes Polygon feature. First, let's clear the screen. File, New, OK. Now click on Create, Draw Shapes, and select Polygon. This will open a fourth tab that contains all the controls needed to draw our polygon shape. There are two main ways to enter coordinates. The manual method works like this. Find where it says point placement. It's a checkbox. Now, if it's not expanded, go ahead and check it. If it's already expanded, great. Click on the XYZ text box. Let's type in minus 100, 0, 0 for this example and push enter. That creates the first point of our polygon. For the rest of the points, we can just click with the mouse. There, that's the polygon shape that I'd like. Once the polygon is closed, you can either leave it this way, and it will produce a 2D quilt and a model, or you can grab the green handle shown here and stretch it into the third dimension. Now, to make it more visible, I'm going to rotate. Now, these green arrows are handles that you can grab and you can pull. So I'm going to grab this handle. It's going to extrude right here in this example in the Z direction. These green handles are not the only way that you can stretch the shape into the third dimension. If you go to Shape Parameters, there's a text box here called Length, and you can type in anything you like. You can type in 100. You can type in 500. That's a bit long. Let's go with, let's go with uh, 300. Since this is a closed shape defined by points that you specified, you can also change how the points are hooked together. For example, right now they're just set for linear, but if you, you go over to the Shape Parameters frame, you could choose Catmull Rom, produces a bit of a funny shape, an Acoma Spline, or Bezier. As with all of the draw shape options, once you push OK or Apply, Pointwise creates a model made up of quilts that define each of the major surfaces. We'll go ahead and push OK. And I'll select the model, and I'd like to shade it. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any specific questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.